hello everyone <clears throat> on today project i would like to see the difference between the physiology controller i would like you to see the difference between the physiology controller and the pid controller at the output of my out of my automation system so i did this test on i did this project on on matlab on matlab 2016 so here is my physiology controller and here is my PID controller. Uh, here is my my system mode, the model, the modeling of my system. So it's a third, it's a third function of it's a, it's a function of the third order. Here is my scope to see to see the signal at the output of my system. Here is the comparator and here is my step. So the step is the signal. It's the input signal of my uh, of my automation system, and the goal of my automation system, when I use this corrector, is to reach the maximal value of my step of the of the input. So it's to have the same value as the input of my of my automation system, of course. So here's my MATLAB. When you want to simulate, when you want to simulate a physiology box in Simulink, uh, the first step is to launch it. So uh, I'm gonna launch my my physiology parameter. So uh, let's see. So it's the two. So here my physiologic design. So I call it fuzzy test control too. So here's my error, the input, and here's the control, my output. So see how I did it? You see? So the range is minus one and one for the input, and for the output is minus seven dot five to ten for my output. So when I finish, I just close it, and here. Here is my code. So here is my code of my physiology. So if negative, if error is negative, then control is negative. Uh, it's, it's something very simple. I didn't want it to make it too much complicated, but I, I could have made it better so I can have something better at the output of my system. So all it depends on me. So I did it how I want it so I wanted something easy so that's why I did it like that so here you can see here is my fuzzy control and so here is the fuzzification of my system of my physiology and here is the diffusification error zero control so here is the diffusification and we also call it whole viewer as you can see so I just close it and Oh, also, don't forget to save your product to the workspace. You save it to the workspace. When you save it to the hub, to the workspace, is come and save it here. You see, here's the my workspace. And finally, you also save it to the file. And you save it exactly at the same place where your project is. The project you 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 are doing on Simulink. So my project is. Is in is in document MATLAB and here, so I just save it here. It was already there, yes. So I save it. So once save, I can close now. Okay, just save it. Okay, just save it. Save it like that. Okay, save now. So now you can go. You can go in Simulink. In simulating, so you see, I put it 20 here, so to be able to see how my function react till the end, so how my function look like till the end. See, so just launch my simulation, so you can see the difference, the difference between the physiology controller and the PID controller. And I can say to you right now that the physiology controller is better. It's better to use a physiology controller than a PID controller because uh, most for because because of the person of the overshoot the person overshoot here here is my system 
so the blue one is the output of my system when I use the output of my system when I use the PID controller and the yellow one is the output of my system when I use a physiologic controller and the orange one is my step is the input of my system and the goal at the output of my system is to reach the input very fast so you see the settling time is the same the settling time is the same with my physiologic but the percent of a shoot is different so it's very high on the PID and that's that's not good for an automation system so that's why it's better to use the physiologic and it could have been very better if I have made some if I made if I make some modification if my design it in my is my physic in my physiology design uh, so if I change some stuff in my program it could have been better so just to let you see what's the difference between uh, the PID and the physiology controller okay thank you very much for your attention and bye bye don't forget to subscribe thank you